Hello you guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make Guitar Hero 2 custom DLC for the Xbox 360. You will need either a JTAG or a Recycle Attack Xbox. This will not work on unmodded. Alright, first you're going to have to have existing uh, Guitar Hero 2 DLC and a way to transfer that DLC to your computer. There's plenty of tutorials how to do that, I'm not going to waste my time on here. Well, we got our DLC file. Doesn't matter if it's a multi pack or a single. I'm using a single. I'm using Exile. You're going to need uh, La Fluffy. You can just Google it or I'll provide a link down below. Uh, Audacity and Rock Band DLC tools. We're going to open up La Fluffy. Go to File. Open a file. And go to the DLC file that you extracted from your USB from your Xbox. Click open. And we're going to click extract package and extract it to somewhere you're going to remember. This is going to be GH2 custom DLC. Alright, it's extracted. You're going to get these files, you're going to get two pictures, text file, and a folder called root, and inside root, you're going to have config, songs, and spa.bin. I'm going to minimize this right now. I'm going to uh, add the human abstract. This is a frets on fire song, so the audio is in an aug, and you got the dot mid. Alright, we're going to open up this AUG with Audacity. All right. uh, when you have Audacity open, you got to make sure you have the settings right. Go to Edit and go to Preferences and then Import Export you want to click use custom mix click OK and once you have your audio open click file export and you want to name it real short uh, beginning of the song name is called Vela so we're just going to call it Vela and export as Ogvorbis click save OK and here's where things get different you want to slide this over so there's six and left goes on channel one and right goes on channel two uh, and these can be blank click OK while this is exporting you want to go to your extracted DLC folder go on go to songs actually go back rename this uh, really short according to your song like this one I'm naming it Vela. Delete your mid and mog file. Just delete it. And rename the .voc file the same exact name. Like this one's Vela. And copy your .mid file. Control C to copy. And Control V to paste into this folder and we're going to rename this the exact same thing Vela and we're going to wait on this to get done exporting Now once that's done you can close Audacity and this 
uh, AUG file you can just drag into your songs. Rename it so it's exactly like the rest. So let me get rid of that. That was from a previous recording. Okay. Once you have all your names the exact same, you want to go in this folder called config. And uh, you have gonna have these DTA files. You're gonna want to open these with uh, Notepad, and you want to open Contexts. And right here, it's gonna actually say your uh, song name. Like this was Exile, but this is already uh, I use already use it with Customs. And you want to type in your short name, Vela, and where it has the number right here, lowercase your song name, and lowercase right here, and capital in this spot, Vela. X, save, and then your songs.dta, I'm going to open that, right here is going to be lowercase, Vela, and this is going to be your song name in the game. And the song name for this is Vela Together. Let me see. We await the storm. By the human abstract. Right here, where it says name, song, slash, your original song title, your short name, Vela, for me, Vela, and right here, too. And this is going to be your preview time. It's in milliseconds. I usually just put 30,000, which is 30 second mark to 60,000 which is the minute mark 30 second preview time and this right here goth 2 I always put it to death metal 1 because it's a better fretboard to play on X save and you're done with your custom song so far I'm going to minimize this open back up the fluffy go to file package creation STFS Give me a second here Alright In this title ID box right here You're going to want to type This number right here It's 415607 Capital E 7 In this tab you want to Click marketplace very important and then these these two is going to be the Im images right click right here add image and go to the folder you extracted your DLC those two images and add it to both of those and then the internal title right here I'm going to type in guitar can't even spell right now guitar hero 2 Roman numeral is not the number two. Right here is going to be uh, your package description. I'm just going to type in Vela together. We await the storm. Save display title and description. Right here, click on root. In this box, right click add files. Go into root. Add this spa.bin add that then right click root and add folder and you're gonna name this folder config save click on config right click this box add files go to your config and add all these DTA files right click root again add folder you can name this folder songs and click save right click songs add folder 
and whatever your song, your short song title name, like this one's Vela. Save. Click on Vela. Add files. And go to songs, your song name, and add the mid. Actually, I, f I skipped a step right here. All right. After you created your AUG with Audacity, open up Rock Band DLC Tools and click AUG to MOG. Open AUG file. Go to where your, your saved AUG file is. Open that up, delete original AUG, save MOG, and make sure that MOG is in that folder. Alright, now we can go back to here, adding those three files in this uh, your song folder. The mid, the MOG, and the .boc. Add those, go to finalization, and click dev live, create package. Save it to somewhere. I'm going to save it on the desktop. Type, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to say Vela. Save. That's your uh, package info. This is going to be your package title. The human abstract. Vela. Together we await the storm custom click rebuild and on this tab uh, labeled security click that and down here you're gonna click sign for dev live and click fix and you we're done creating the package file here it is right here and the same way you extracted your actual Guitar Hero 2 DLC it's the, it's the same way you're gonna put it back on in the same folders that you extracted it from but I'm just gonna hurry up and FTP it real quick to my Xbox and show you guys that it does work Okay, while that's uh, uploading I'm just gonna bring up a preview screen for my uh, Xbox so you guys can see it. Alright, it's done uploading. So it's on my Xbox now. Here's preview screen. Gonna boot up Guitar Hero 2. Doesn't matter if it's modded or not. If if it's a disc or not, just boot it up. All right, you can tell it's a 360 version because it has leaderboards and dashboard. Quick play. Scroll down, depending on what you replaced the number with or what your name was, it should be in alphabetical order. Mine's not because I was experimenting with numbers. And here it is right here on the bottom. I'll show you guys it works. I'm on the controller right now. So don't expect like too much carnage. And plus it's on screen recording so I don't know if it's actually going to lag or not.
All right. See you guys. It does work, and it is Xbox. Hopefully, I at least helped at least one of you guys.